The exciting thing for us is to be able to launch Grok uh, on Azure. I know uh, you have a deep vision for what AI needs to be, and that's what got you to get this built. Uh, it's a family of models that are both response and reasoning models, and you have a very exciting roadmap. You want to just tell us a little bit about sort of your vision, the capability. You're pushing on both capability and efficiency, so maybe you can just talk about a little bit of that. Sure. So, yeah, with with, with Grok, especially with Grok 3.5 that uh, is about to be released, um, it's tr it's trying to reason from first principles. So apply kind of the uh, the, the tools of physics to uh, to thinking. Um, so um, if you're trying to get to fundamental truths, you you try you, you boil things down to the the axiomatic elements that are most likely to be correct, uh, and then you reason up from there, and then you can test your conclusions against those axiomatic elements. And you know in physics, if if you violate conservation of energy or momentum, then you're you're either going to get a Nobel Prize or you're you're wrong, and and you're all certainly wrong, uh, basically. So, um, so, so the, 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 that's really the focus of, of Grok 3.5 is um, uh, sort of a fund, fundamentals of physics um, and, and applying physics tools across uh, all lines of reasoning, um, and to aspire to truth with uh, minimal error. Like, there's always going to be some mistakes that are made. Uh, but we aim to, to uh, get to truth with acknowledged error, uh, but minimize that error over time. And um, I think that's actually extremely important for uh, AI safety. Um, so I've thought a lot for a long time about AI safety, and my ultimate conclusion is the the old maxim that honesty is the best policy. Uh, it it really, really is for for safety. Um, but I do want to emphasize, you know, we. we we have and will make mistakes, but we aspire to correct them very quickly. Um, and we, we are very much looking forward to feedback from the developer community to say, like, what do you need? Where are we wrong? How can we make it better? Um, and to, to have Grok be something that the developer community, community uh, is very excited to use and where they can feel that their feedback is being uh, heard and, uh, and Grok is, is improving and uh, serving their needs. Yeah, I know it's in some sense, you know, Cracking the physics of intelligence is perhaps the real goal uh, for us to be able to use AI uh, at scale. And so it's so good to you know, take that first principles approach that you and your team are taking. And also you're deploying this. I mean, one of the things about sort of what you do is uh, you're doing you know, unsupervised FSD on one side, you're doing robotics, of course there's Grok, so you're deploying Grok across all of your businesses from SpaceX to Tesla, obviously at X. Uh, I would love to even, you know, one of the themes for this developer conference, uh, Elon, is we're building pretty sophisticated AI apps, right? It's not even about any one model. It's about orchestrating multiple models, multiple agents. Uh, just anything that you are seeing in the real world application side, even inside of your own companies, when you think about even a Tesla or a SpaceX where you put Grok and these the other uh, AI models you're building? Yeah, it, it's incredibly important uh, for an AI model to be grounded in reality. Uh, reality, you know, um, I was saying, which is like, like physics is the law and everything else is a recommendation, which is, I'm not suggesting people break the, 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 the laws made by, you know, humans, uh, you know, we, we should generally obey the laws of humans, but, but I've seen many people break, uh, human made laws, but I have not seen anyone break, uh, the laws of physics. Um, so for, for, for any given AI grounding it against reality. Um, and reality, for example, as you mentioned, with with co the car, it needs to drive safely and correctly. Uh, the uh, humanoid robot uh, Optimus needs to you know, perform the task that 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 it's being asked to perform. Um, the, these uh, these these are things that are very very helpful for uh, ensuring that the model is uh, truthful and accurate um, because it has to adhere to the laws of physics. So so I think that's actually maybe uh, so some somewhat. Uh, Overlooked, or at least not talked about it enough, is that it, to really be intelligent, it's 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 got to make predictions that are in line with reality. Of, in other words, physics. Uh, that's that's a, it's a really fundamental thing, um, and um, and being able to ground that uh, with uh, cars and robots is is very important. Um, we we are seeing uh, Grok be very helpful in things like customer service, um, and um, you know the, the AI is infinitely patient and friendly, and you can yell at it, and it's still going to be very nice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so that's good. Um, yeah, and, and so, um, so I, I think in terms of improving the quality of customer service and sort of issue resolution, um, uh, AI is already uh, 
Grok is already doing quite a good job of that at SpaceX and Tesla. And um, and we, we look forward to like offering that to, to other companies. No, that's fantastic. Uh, really thrilled uh, to get this journey started, getting that developer feedback, uh, and then looking forward to even how they deploy. There is these language models. There's, you know, I think over time we will have this coming together of language models with vision, with action. But to your point, being really grounded on a real world model. Um, and that, I think, is ultimately the goal here. And so thank you so much, Elon, uh, for briefly joining us today. And we're really excited about working with you and getting this into the developers' hands. Thank, thank you very much. And I can't, I can't emphasize enough that we're looking for feedback from you, the developer audience. Uh, tell us what, what, what you want, and we'll, we'll make it happen. Thank you.